Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Amir Waysen, uh, I'm a PhD student at the University of Oregon and I will present our work uh, improving slot filling by utilizing contextual information. Uh, I will first describe the details of the task and the formal definition of it. Uh, then I will briefly review the existing work and their limitations. After that, uh, I will talk about the uh, details of our approach and then I will present the results in our experiments. Finally, I will conclude our work in the end. Uh, slot filling is the task of identifying the semantic constituents in a natural language iterate. For instance, uh, in the given sentence, play Sydney Anderson chant music that is newest. Uh, the Sydney Anderson is artist, uh, the chant music is the music item, and the newest is the sort action. And our goal is to extract these uh, semantic slots out of this sentence. Uh, slot filling is uh, one of the subtasks of spoken language understanding and it could be useful for many downstream applications including uh, personal assistant tools such as Siri. Uh, here's the formal definition of the task. Uh, we are given a sequence of words and in addition to the words we have the post tag of the words in the sentence. Our goal is to predict the label sequence while. Uh, as it is a sequence labeling problem, we use a BIO format in the labels to determine the boundaries of a different semantic slots in the given sentence. Uh, slot filling is one of the subtasks of spoken language understanding and early work has utilized feature-based models such as uh, conditional random field. Feature-based models have difficulty to generalize to new domains in which some of the features uh, might not be available or useful. Uh, because of this limitation, uh, recent studies are widely employing a deep learning model for slot filling and uh, architectures like uh, LSTM encoder has been widely used for this task. In addition to that, uh, joint models for simultaneously predicting the semantic slots and the intent of the sentence are now very popular, and there is a lot of recent work on this. Uh, in general, uh, slot filling is a special type of sequence labeling, and the findings of the other related tasks, such as named entity recognition, could be useful for uh, this uh, task too. And uh, recent work on uh, named entity recognition has shown that if the context of the uh, word is explicitly encoded in the word representation, it could improve the performance. More specifically, contextual information could have two advantages for deep learning based sequence labeling. First, uh, it will help the model to better represent the words. Uh, words have several meanings and the true meaning of the word uh, depends on its context. Using the context in the representation of the word could help the model to represent the true meaning of each word. Uh, second, contextual information could be useful to predict the true label of the word by uh, looking at the importance of words in the context. We know that some words uh, could be indicative of, of special labels and encoding this information in the representations of the context could uh, improve the performance on the test. Moreover, uh, some labels usually co-occur with each other, and if the model is aware of the related labels, it could also help it to uh, better perform uh, for sequence labeling. As none of the existing work for slot filling has explicitly encoded these two aspects of the context uh, for slot filling, uh, in this work, uh, we attempt to devise a solution to ensure that the model is able to capture these two aspects of the context. Our solution for this is to propose a multitask setting for slot filling, in which, in addition to the main task of slot filling, we will perform three other uh, auxiliary tasks that help the model to encode the aforementioned aspects of the context. Uh, more specifically, uh, we have these three tasks. 
Uh, first, increasing mutual information between the word representation and its context representation. Uh, to make sure that the word is represented with a vector which is consistent with its context. Second, uh, to predict the word label using only its context. To encourage the model uh, to encode uh, important information about the labels of the other words in the representations of each word. And finally, to predict the set of semantic slot, uh, semantic slot labels in the given sentence to make sure that our model is aware of the related semantic slots. Uh, please note that this uh, subtask, uh, the goal of this subtask is to predict which semantic slots have been mentioned in the sentence, so it will be a multi-label classification task. Uh, for the main task, we present, represent each word using uh, its pre-trained word embedding and a randomly initialized embedding of its post tag. And we will update these embeddings during training. After that, we use a BioLSTM to encode the sequential order of the words in the sentence. We use uh, the hidden state of the words in BioLSTM as the representations of the words. These representations are then employed by a CRF layer to predict the label sequence. Uh, please note that we use the hidden states on the words and feed them to a feed-forward neural net to generate the emission scores at each time step which will be used by the CRF layer. To train this model, we use the negative log likelihood as the, as the last function. The first auxiliary task in our model is word and context consistency. Uh, to ensure that the representations of the word is consistent with its context, we increase the mutual information between the word and its context. Uh, we first compute the context representation using max pooling over all words of the sentence, excluding the word itself. Then uh, we aim to increase mutual information between word and context representation. Formally, uh, we should increase the KL divergence between two distributions of joints and uh, product of marginal distributions of the two random variables. However, uh, as we are working with high dimensional vectors, computing this KL divergence could be very expensive. And to address this limitation, we used the recently proposed method to estimate the mutual information between two high dimensional random variables using a discriminator that uh, distinguishes the samples from the joints and the product of the marginal distributions. Here the samples of the joint distributions are generated by concatenating the representations of the board with its context and the samples of the products of the marginal distribution are generated by concatenating the representations of the word with a random context selected from the same mini batch. To train the discriminator, we use binary cross entropy as the loss function. Uh, the second subtask in our um, multitask settings is uh, predictions of the word label by its context. This prediction could be helpful for the model to encode enough information about the labels of the other words in the word representation. Uh, this is helpful because the true label of a word might depend on other words or some words in the sentence could be a strong clue of specific labels uh, of the other labels. Uh, for instance, if we have uh, the word album in a sentence that has the word play, it will be easier to uh, find the label for the board play. So uh, to achieve this goal, uh, we first compute the representations of the board context by performing max pooling over all words excluding the word itself. And then we predict the label of the word from the context representations using a fifth forward classifier. The negative log likelihood is employed as the loss function for this subtext. Uh, the third and uh, last subtask in our model is to predict the set of semantic slots existing in the given sentence. The goal of this subtask is to make sure that the model is aware of the related semantic slots that usually co-occur with each other. 
and our approach for that is to predict the set of labels uh, from sentence representations in a multi-label classification setting. That means uh, we will predict a vector of zeros and ones where the size of the vector equals the total number of the semantic slot existing in the data set. Uh, to generate the sentence representations, we use max pooling over all words of the sentence, then a feedforward lab with circular activation function at the end will predict the existence of the different semantic slots in the sentence. The number of neurons in the last layer of the feedforward neuron is equal to the number of uh, dimensions in the um, uh, label vector. To train the model, we use binary cross entropy averaged over all labels in the label vector. Uh, in our experiments, we evaluate the proposed model on three benchmark datasets. The ATIS and SNPs datasets are the well-known datasets for this task. In addition to these two datasets, we evaluate our model on a new dataset called uh, EditMe. EditMe contains sentences for editing an image using natural language instructions and consists of four different labels. You can see the statistics of these uh, datasets uh, here. Uh, the SNPs is the largest dataset in our experiments, and in EditMe, the label object is the most frequent label in this dataset. We compare our model with two categories of baselines. The first category is uh, models uh, proposed for spoken language understanding. Uh, some of these models are joint models uh, which uh, simultaneously predict the semantic slots and the intent of the sentence. As our model is not using any intent, intent label, uh, we compare our model with those versions of these baselines that uh, it doesn't use the intent label and are only using the semantic slot labels. The second category of the baselines are the set of the art models for uh, another sequence labeling task, which is named the TA recognition. The results on these uh, three benchmark datasets are shown here. Uh, we achieved the highest performance on all three uh, datasets, indicating the effectiveness of the proposed model compared to the strong baselines from this test. Finally, uh, to evaluate the contribution of the different subtasks proposed by this work, we conduct an ablation study. Uh, as discussed earlier, uh, we have a three major subtasks in our model. First, using neutral information to increase the consistency between word and uh, context representation. Second, uh, prediction of the label of the word using only its context. And finally, uh, to predict the set of labels in the sentence in a multi-label classification setting. Uh, you can see that all uh, the uh, components are necessary for our model and removing each of these components will hurt the performance of the model and among these three components, label prediction has the uh, most uh, contributions uh, to the performance uh, which indicates the importance of this component for uh, this task on all of these three datasets. So in conclusion, we propose a new deep learning model for slot filling in a multitask setting uh, to increase word and uh, its context consistency, capture word label and its context dependency, and also to model co-occurrences of related semantic slots. And our model performs strong distance on three benchmark datasets. Thank you.